So today we're going to be installing this turbo whistler on the tailpipe and I'm sure everybody's seen that before. So what I'm going to do after that is we're going to install it on the intake side. I'm going to reverse it, try to find the mount and see how it sounds. We're going to take our turbo whistler what I like to do I like to take some kind of rubber grommet or something so it doesn't scratch up the exhaust let's start it up again Let's take it to the intake side. So as you can see what we're gonna do here, this is the stock intake air box. Okay, we're gonna, obviously the air has to be flowing this direction. So I was thinking about something like this. Just make sure you guys use a lot of lubricant. And there you have it. Okay. Not gonna fly into the intake housing because it's right here it's locked and with the air that's coming inside the motor we might be able to pick up some kind of um, turbo whistle here we'll see we'll give it a try Fire up. You guys heard anything but I sure as hell didn't all right guys so we didn't get any sound out of it last time I think we're lacking that air velocity so we got the turbo whistler inside you know and we did connect the whole tubing down to where it goes to the fender to get the air from so if the turbo whistler is in between here we should get some airflow here to you know give it that turbo whistle hopefully this airbox is not going to restrict the noise we'll try it with the airbox on and then i'll probably open it up a little bit and see if it makes a difference so here let's take a look guys and again I did not hear any difference very disappointing project um, let's try to take it for a ride and see how it does under load
Bobcat over there. Well guys, sorry to disappoint. Unfortunately, putting the turbo whistler on your intake side of the engine will not give you the results you want. Unfortunately, oh, well, darn, it just fell down my intake. What do you know? That's what I get for being a riser. We're gonna try to use this handy magnetic puller. Try to see if we can get, fish that out. Get it. Darn it, guys, I gotta run it through the bumper. Uh -huh. Damn civics. Guys, I gotta say, I'm pretty lucky. God, it got out of that intake housing. Well, to conclude, turbo whistler intake. No, it's not gonna work. At least not with piping as this big. You would really have to restrict the airflow housing in order to get this little turbo whistler to start whistling. That means I gotta get a turbo, a real turbo. That means I gotta spend, I gotta spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I don't know guys, I think I'm gonna just get the Type R. Stay tuned.